there's a lot of people out there talking about million dollar selling and this and that and this and that of, you know, you have to have some big, huge brand. Y'all, that doesn't have to be your goal. That doesn't have to be. I mean, let's be real. Who, who doesn't want more money, right? I mean, most people do. Most people want to, you know, of course, there's always more things. But at the end of the day, that means, I mean, no money, no problems, right? Have you heard the song? Um, yeah, if you're um, like as old as me, then you would know what I'm referencing. But anyways, so the reality is that some people don't want that. And honestly, we've gotten there and ran a few of that for a few years and realized, eh, maybe we're not on a scale back because we know what's enough. We know what we want to do. My mom is really approaching retirement age. I mean, for real, she should probably be retired by now, but she loves what she's doing, so she's not. But, you know, we don't want to run fast-paced, hustle, hustle, hustle all the time. We have a, a place in, that we're comfortable at. So don't set your bar to somebody else's level. I mean, what if you realize you hit a half a million and you're like, yeah, this is totally cool. My salary is six figures and I work a couple days a week and I'm good. Like, set your goal to what you want it to be. Because the more you have, the more you have to manage. So much is given, much is required, right? So it's an opportunity for you to think about those things. So you don't have to have a million SKUs and have to constantly be doing this. You can do it one bundle at a time, get the bundle, get it going, get it working, still supplement with whatever retail arbitrage or wholesale or whatever method you are selling already. Um, keep on doing what you're doing and just add one bundle. And they'll be like, okay, how can I improve on that? How can I do that better the next time? Add another bundle. Maybe it sells two or three a month. Okay, what'd you learn? Next one you create, oh, maybe it sells two or three a week. Ooh, what'd we learn? The third one, two or three a day. You gotta have practice at this, right? But you also have to try and you also have to start somewhere. So the basics of all this stuff is like all these different places that people wanna teach you, oh, sell on Amazon, here's the process, but how do I start? What do I even know? Do I just like close my eyes and throw a dart at the wall and hope that it hits something that says, okay, auto parts, yeah. Honestly, I'm not gonna sell auto parts. Why? Because I know nothing about it. Nothing. I mean, accessories maybe, like steering wheel covers, you know, things like that can be researched. But like, no, I'm not getting into automotive. But if that's your thing, if you're a car guy or a car girl and you have been working on cars and you just love cars and you know these little parts or these big parts are really expensive and harder to find globally or just, you know, just one of those things that you almost always have to order online because the regular stores don't carry them. I mean, that's opportunity for you if you know that. You know, if you don't have babies, don't sell baby stuff. Why? Because you're going to have to start from the bottom, ground floor, learning everything. If you start with something you're already knowledgeable about, you're already halfway there. 